What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Let's take a close look with binoculars. So I just picked these up. It's a nice small set of binoculars. I like this typical dual hole look that they always use in like movies and TVs, although that's never really what you see when looking through binoculars. Um, so perfect for all of these things. I've got these, they're, they're pretty inexpensive and obviously pretty small. So I thought I'd just try them out to see how good they are. I'm always looking for a nice little set of binoculars that I can take on the road, have them in a car, in a bag, a backpack, without taking up a lot of space. Obviously you can get some of those really big ones, but I didn't want to, uh, you know, have the best binoculars in the world and never be able to carry them around with me. So what we get here is a nice little nylon pouch. There's a little strap here. This would absolutely fit on your belt. It's not that heavy. It's about the size of like two sleeves of golf balls. Velcro top here. It's like the binoculars are wrapped in plastic. Fantastic. Ooh, there they are. We also have, I'm betting a neck strap here, a lanyard and you can see that nice thick webbing on the strap, some pleather like attachments at the end and then some thin nylon down here that should uh, kind of run through, uh, I'm guessing these little plastic nylon loops right there and there. So you can absolutely have this around your neck without losing it. There's some caps on the back here, I like that they're tethered together and they kind of are a little squishy, which is nice. All right. So here are the binoculars. Wow, pretty cool looking. I'm actually pretty impressed with the way they look and feel in my hand. It's all like a soft touch plastic. You can see the IFKU uh, binocular, the Fox logo on the top there. And we've got some nice big grippy pieces here. You can see here how they go in and out, kind of like Wall-E uh, to adjust to different pupillary distances. We have um, on the ocular piece here, you can adjust both of these in and out. And I'm assuming this is like a focus ring for for the eye, near eyepiece. And then it looks like here is focus for um, the uh, the far pieces. You can see them going in and out there. So works. I love how it's not that resistive, but it's really knurled here and has kind of a, a dampening effect. So it, it does move nice and slowly. And then you should be able to look right in here. So not gonna work it great inside, but we'll take them outside and give them a try. All right guys, outside here, a little bit ghetto the way I'm doing this, just holding up my camera phone to the binoculars themselves. And I'm looking out here and at that distance, we can see a lot of stuff way, way out there. Um, hopefully this is coming up. It's a really bright sunny day today, but I really tried to focus it as much as I could, not on the tree line right here, but the tree line beyond there a little bit too. So. Um, hopefully if I can focus in on that a little bit for you, but you can see man I would definitely use these for spotting and bird watching and uh, Recreational activities sporting events whatnot. I mean, they're really great. Let me just pull it away here That's what I was looking at out there, you know through these so pretty impressed man. Um, I will say that just overall a nice little package and they definitely work I'm pretty impressed with these and they won't set you back a lot of money like I said if you just want to have these even in a glove box or your bug out bag or your day pack something like that I think these will make a great addition so I've got the neck strap in there too it's really useful for holding it around my neck pretty cool I'll put a link to it in the description Peter Von Pand out